Matt Keogh, the corrupt lawyer representing Bert, and no idea Albanese are totally unaware of how bad the housing crisis is. See the following video of Albanese being heckled by protesters. Albanese thought he would get an easy photo shoot to use as propaganda, only cost taxpayers a few hundred million dollars. These are people with genuine concerns, but Albanese got away as quickly as he could. Albanese has no idea, a career politician living in the Canberra bubble for several decades. Matt Keogh doesn't care, he is very rarely in Burt, too busy running around big noting himself. <laughs> Someone needs to remind these two corrupt politicians that they were not put in power by the AFL or big business. The people of Australia voted them in, or actually the people of Australia voted ScoMo out. Labor won by default not because they were seen as a better option. Both of these politicians espouse their working class upbringings. Seems they have completely forgotten where they came from. Too close to big business and organized crime figures to look after Australians. Do not expect Matt Keogh or Albanese to do anything of value for Australia. It appears they are in power only to help their big business mates or to help criminals, family, or friends get government contracts. Albanese partying whilst working Australians are living in cars and tents is just a complete insult. Absolutely no moral compass, completely lost touch with reality. This is what you get when you elect career politicians who have lived in the Canberra bubble for decades. Using our money to big note themselves and create photo shoots. Corrupt to the core. Both men should be ashamed. A vote for Matt Keogh is a wasted vote. Families in Burt are living under bridges, in tents and in cars, so much for Matt Keogh's building a better Burt lie. Matt Keogh is nowhere to be seen. Like Albanese, he is too busy pumping out lying propaganda. Do not vote for this man. He will do nothing for Bert, but a lot for Matt Keogh, family, and friends.